palm-sized hematite, ferruginous hematite included quartz. Lovely, lovely piece. Of course, here we have these uh, sought-after red phantoms in this quartz. And what, what has happened here, you have multi-generational growth of the quartzes. So you'd have an original quartz crystal which formed, which was coated with specular hematite, which in turn lost some of its oxygen and turned into girthite, so the colors of the from the yellows to the reds to the browns. And then a second generation of uh, silica came over the first generation, causing the phantoms. And then on this, in the second generation, you'll often see little gray specks in the second generation of silica. And that would be little specular hematite crystals trapped inside the secondary solution. You see that little gray specking over there. Now this guy has been uh, sawn. Size-wise, we're looking at a palm size, a pretty good size. Has been sawn to stand flat like this, so sideways view is this. Little bit of rejection of the crystals of the main ore. And of course, looking from the top down, we have this lovely red, especially from this particular angle, almost a starburst effect from this angle. All the way from the Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa, I believe that these hail from between uh, uh, Goodhouse and Warrenbad in Namibia, not the Warrenbad here in uh, Pumalanga.